Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Razor and I am the JRPG guy. Welcome back to Unicorn Overlord. Last episode we mined in Bastorius and got some really good stuff. Um because we dug up all the treasure we got we found all the treasure maps by mining. Well, not all of them. We got the first five of them. You can't get the sixth one until later. And then um, we dug up all five of the treasure maps and we got a new crown item. That's pretty damn good. Ancient crown. All stats plus five and then base PP plus one. So really good. I gave it to my gladiator who's my least performing cl class. Or he's like my he's like the worst character I have, so just gave it to him because I f felt like he needed the boost. Okay, we only have one more guard to station, so I, I gotta hire some more units. Piercing Strongbow. Gleaming Mace. You can also buy gold bangles here as well. Okay, these add base PP plus one. are pretty damn good. But Elaine's already got something that, that does that. I'll just, I'm not gonna buy it right now. I'll come back later and buy it maybe. It's definitely a pretty good, pretty good shield though. these people really quickly make sure they don't give me any items don't really care what they have to say I'm just interested if they give me items or not there was a few NPCs in the game that actually gave me stuff so like I remember somebody in Cornea you could like there was something you could like trade in one of the towns to get like to get something. I don't remember what it was, but Do let me know if you require assistance. I also do want to eventually buy everything in every in every single town. Have one of every, you know, one of every weapon, one of every armor and everything. We got another town over here too. Did you get goat milk? Can you find some goats somewhere? We'll look around for some goats real quick. Oh, here's some goats up here. Holy crap, there's a lot of them. Bah. Milking the goats. That's something I'd ever do. That's disgusting.
Okay, I need to go hire some units. Pink Knight. <laughs> I can't thank you enough. Don't thank me, just get stationed somewhere and prove your usefulness. be cool though if like the towns get attacked or whatever and you had to go back and like protect the town or whatever Not a problem. like you get like a notification saying such and such town is under attack and then you gotta run I'll you gotta fast travel back to the town and defend it I think that would have been cool That 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 would have been a lot of work for the devs to do all that. That's just considering how many towns are in the game. Up here to mine. Oh, well, you can just go here to the mine. You don't even need to like rebuild a bridge. For Bastorius, we had to re rebuild the bridge. I do know about this particular mining spot because I actually watched my cousin mine in this spot. My cousin has this game. And I, I was over at his house watching him mine. You can get a uh, platinum ore. And you can get treasure maps of course. You can get star iron. You can get febrite. You can get divine shards. I guess two episodes of back-to-back -back mining then. I wasn't expecting to do this, but... Well, yeah, my cousin spent like... Uh... I'd say I was at his house for like five hours. Five or more hours. Actually, probably around... It was probably around eight hours. And, um... He basically mined the whole entire time. Trying to get enough febrite. I was telling him there's got to be a better way to get febrite. But he wouldn't believe, he wouldn't like listen to me. I was like there's no way this is the best way to get it. Considering he was barely getting any. It took him forever to get the febrite he needed. And I already know what febrite does too. It, it maxes out a weapon's attack to 25. And um... It keeps all the stats and everything exactly the same. Besides, 
I like all the bonuses exactly the same. Calls a thousand gold to mine, but you'll get all that back with a, if you sell the platinum more. I'm just going to dig until I get the treasure maps for now though. Oh, look at all the time I got there. That was a pretty good morning session there. Damn, where the hell's the war at this time? There we go. I mean guys, I'm just playing some Chocobo hot and cold. I just to show you real quick. My cousin was selling his platinum more, so I know how much sells for sells for a lot. Yeah, eight hundred a piece. And keep in mind, you're only spending a thousand to mine, so just two pieces of platinum more, and you get profit. 
I can already sell the 34 for 27 grand. So you can make a lot of profit doing this. Just wanted to show that off real quick. Oh, I got February. Wow. Pretty rare. I'm going to build it up to the f fullest. I didn't know you could build it up to the fullest. Yep, see, you get a wider radius. It's much better to fill it up to the, fill it up to the full. Unless you're almost out of time, then just go ahead and use it. I've already gotten two things of Febred already. My cousin mine for eight hours and only got like... Well, he cl close to eight hours. It was a little less than eight hours. He didn't mine the whole time. But he only got like... I'd say like five pieces of febrite the whole time. I got two in one round. I believe you need five per weapon, I think. Or maybe it's one per weapon, I don't know. I'll have to, I'll have to go to the blacksmith and find out. Oh, got the map number two. I think this might be Feb right here, actually. Yep. Three things of Febrite. So yeah, you can make every any weapon 25 attack. So whatever weapon you like the most, you can make have, have 25. No matter what its stats is. So if it has like five attack, you can make it 25 attack. But you want to use it on the ones that have good effects.
And there might be get, there might be tricks to getting Febrite as well. I haven't really looked it up. How to how to get it more efficiently. I'm not really worried about it either. I know you can get it in the Colosseum. So it might be easier it might be easier to farm the Colosseum to get it. But I'm not 100 percent sure on that. I'm getting really lucky on the time thing. Getting a lot of time bonuses. This is how it was in Chocobo Hot and Cold as well. Sometimes you get like extra time and you can just chain it. Sometimes you can go for like you get like five extra minutes sometimes if you get really lucky. It's all random. This is one of the best digs ever had. Yeah, look at that. 27 platinum more in one round. Three divine shards, 18 Alcadoni stones, and then star iron. Already off to a good start. Damn, son. Already got two time bonuses. Three time bonuses. Oh, could be a treasure map here. Nope, oh, Devon Shard. More time though. Oh, got the third map. Nice. Just need two more maps left. Oh, 
Well, let me fill it up. Twenty one platinum more in that round. That's the best place to make money, guys. Best way to make money in the game. You know my cousin didn't even know you could sell items until I told him you could. Until I told him he could. Like he did not know you could he could sell the platinum ore. He had like a shit ton of platinum ore he didn't even sell until I told him you could sell it. He did not know you could sell items. He also didn't station a single guard either. He went back and looted everything. Instead of just stationing a guard to do it automatically. Talk, talk about this is how you don't play. There we go. Let's get another map though. Oh, this could be February.
Go ahead and sell some of that platinum ore. Look around as much as you please. We got 140 platinum ore. Holy crap! For selling 99, you get 79,000. I guess what I'll do is I'll get the rest of the treasure maps off screen. Because we only need two more of them anyway. And I'll be right back after I get the other two. Well, I just got the fourth and fifth map back to back. Didn't take long at all. To get there, I'll stop the recording. So I'm done mining for now. I'm on some more later. I'm getting kind of bored of it. It's a fun mini game, but it does get boring. Pretty tedious. Look at my in with Febrite, maybe. Oops, star iron. Alright, let's go get those treasure maps. As many as we can get. <clears throat> Probably won't be able to get them all right now. What the hell is this? Elheim's hidden treasure. Glowing light. Lamplight ring. Buff cannot be removed. Plus 30 accuracy to immunity to blindness. That's pretty good in this area too. Because those one enemies can blind you. Alright, found the treasure map. Gold goblet. Miracle fruit and 8,000 war funds. User earns 200% gold. Holy crap. That's pretty damn good. What if it stacks with a golden egg? Give it to him.
Okay. I guess one's up there. Up right there. Sage Owls Shawl. Quick to spell, activates after an enemy is buffed. Remove all buffs from a, tar from a target enemy. Or from a single enemy. Not really worth it. Up somewhere around here. There it is, right there. Heaven Mirror Great Shield. Where the hell is it at? Oh, I have to go over to my... Reflect magic. Hmm. What if I give that to him? Pretty good against magic though. He has 47 magic defense. Nah. I'm not gonna bother with that. Reflecting magic's pretty good though. Connects that giant statue. They must guard spear. I think it's back this way.
Sorry about any background noise. I don't see that giant statue that they are showing him on the map. On the picture there, I don't see that. Like, how could you miss that too, you know? I'm going to have to look this one up. Oh, maybe I use the ship. Maybe there's a port somewhere. Nope, maybe not. At least some goats over here. Get some more goat milk. Let me look this one up real quick. So I'm not here all day. Actually, let's follow this road here. There's a road over here. Yeah, I don't know. I'll look it up. Alright. Let's see. What am I on? I'll be in ma what map is this? Another guy from Neo Seeker here. Okay, shroud for town and go south. Okay. Yep, I see it. Wow. <clears throat> Maggie, a heart. Hasten cast. Max initiative for the next action. <laughs> I don't think that's very good. We got one more left. Looks like it's on the coast.
Up up here. There it is. Put it 150 quest. Dream crown. All stats plus five and base P people base AP plus one. Alright guys, I'm in the video here. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Later.